<laughs> Let me point it away from those goddamn lights. Okay, what do we got here? We got a live stream that's going on. Let's get the chat going and see who's here. Early stream says drummer. Yes, I'm doing an early stream until about five today, and then I'll be back tomorrow around seven. Seven o'clock, if you know what I mean. I sound like Jesse Ventura there for a second. You know what I mean. <clears throat> How's everyone doing today? It's probably going to be a dead stream because it's a Monday at fucking... Oh, there go the ads. Uh, Monday at 2.30. I see that I just sent the uh, video out now. I see that. So if you're just tuning in, I'm doing a Monday chill stream. Drummer says, I don't work Mondays. Cool. What's up, Cheetah Man? Listen, eat me. Astro Zombie, I'm going to come down to your house. I'm going to eat your ass. <laughs> so ignore I said that. I'm going to get canceled. <laughs> uh, Nightmare Jack style, what's going on? The is here. Where, where's the been? Mr. Williams is here. The beautiful haired man. What's going on? Appreciate you. Sexy Coco. Goddamn Sexy Coco. I'm going to pin you down. I'll be I'll be at the stream later at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Oh yeah, I'm doing a guest spot on Sludge Hammer Horror tonight at 8 p.m. So I'll send the link to you guys when that happens. Robert, what's going on? We're doing a Monday hangout. What are we doing? Hanging out. We're gonna have some discussions. We're gonna look at the loft. See if there's a little ghost boy up there. Serial Vapus, I'm going to work so I can't stick around. Well, you're fired. Don't you get canceled every day? Yes. Robert, what's up? Brettman says uh, we're going to get the gout. Speaking of the gout. Wait until you guys see what's showing up today. Wait until you guys see what's showing up today. It's a stupid thing. I ordered some new suits. I ordered some shrimp. <clears throat> Scott's at work. Listen, Scott, quit your job and watch me full time. Jay, you're fired from having shrimp. I don't think so. Mr. Meow, you cannot do that to me, buddy. New suits. So I've got new suits coming. Where's my phone? Listen, I'm coming. Hang on. Okay, I've got new suits coming. Let me show you guys. Yes, there's two new suits showing up today. Let me show you everything I've ordered. You guys are getting a sneak peek at the stupidity that's coming up on this show. Glamorous, what's up? So I've ordered some fake shrimps. Those are little plastic shrimps. I've ordered a hand puppet. So we're going, it's gonna go off the rails when this thing shows up. That's the that's the new hand puppet showing up. That's that's Pay Pig. Pay Pig is showing up today. And then, what else is showing up? You guys are going to lose your minds. I'm losing my mind on this. I also ordered a shrimp, an alternate shrimp, which looks like this. It's actually a, a cooked, it's a cooked shrimp pillow. And here's the two costumes I ordered. So, in, in honor of what happened the other day on stream, when I found that VHS tape, this one, In honor of finding dinosaurs, 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 which we're gonna watch together on a stream on my main channel one day. I, I ordered a Triceratops in honor of uh, dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. And then I also ordered another character. Rusty, what's up dude, says, I'm somehow a member. Here's to you in your future, bro, bro, bro. Thanks, dude. What did he say there? Let me see that. Let me see that super chat. Thanks, man. He says, I somehow became a member. I don't know how, I don't know how that happened, but Rusty, I appreciate it. Real Spoiler says, dinosaurs, 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 which thank you for the support, dude. Yeah, dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs is one of the most amazing things ever. So I'm ordering a dinosaur suit, but also I've ordered... I don't know what to name him yet, but you know, I have names for all of the characters on the show. Like we have Angry Shark, 
I don't know if you guys saw the clip about Angry Shark. How many of you saw Angry Shark? Shark. Yeah, Shark. Matthew, what's up? Been a member for two. Wow. Thank you for two months, Jay. Matt, thank you for uh, being a member for two months. I'm gonna put that pink Triforce on your anus. Lick it. I l somebody in the chat says I love Angry Shark. <laughs> Angry Shark. Yo, you fucking telling me my shrimp? <laughs> So here's the new character. Um, yep. Yep. That's showing up today. You fucking telling me? Angry Brooklyn Shark should have been his name. He's just known as Angry Shark. You fucking telling me? We're fucking out of shrimp. By the way, I just lost ads on this video for swearing so much. <laughs> Doss man, what's going on? Star Fox. Oh, by the way, I should order it now because I've been talking about it. Um, by the way, if you missed yesterday's stream, yesterday's stream, I created a, a cookie bowl, which sat out overnight, just so you know. And the cookie bowl, it smells like old socks. Genesis is my brother's gay. Okay. Thanks for letting us know, Jenna. That, you know, I woke up this morning, I'm like, God damn it, is Jenna's brother gay? There's so many signs pointing to yes. Here's what we made on the stream yesterday. Shannon, what's going on? Here's what, uh, here's what we made on the stream yesterday. If you missed this, you missed out on uh, titty cupcakes. You missed out on... Titty cupcakes. You see what I did there? That looks like uh, Astro's uh, nipples, by the way. Oh. I'm definitely in a mood. Oh, Mr. Williams, what's up, dude? D Jr. Appreciate you being here. So, there's new suits showing up. I'm excited about the new suits. I don't know the delivery time on that. Eric, what's up in the chat, Eric? Appreciate you and my succulent shrimp. I wish you would succulent my shrimp. Jay has, sorry, Rich has the birds, Jay has the shrimp. And Rich has gout. Hot dog suit? Jason Knowing says hot dog suit. Let's look it up. How much is a hot dog suit? on uh, Amazon. Jostler says, I missed yesterday's stream on purpose. What an asshole. What? Hot, hot dogs, hot dog costume, adult. What it, can you believe that? All right, so a hot dog suit goes for about $39. So do I feel like spending $39 in a goddamn hot dog suit? Here's what it looks like. <laughs> that's that's debatable if we're gonna do it. So, yeah, I'm not. Dude, that's like fifty dollars Canadian. I'm not ordering that. Jay, we need an angry shark merch, please. Nightmare style. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the support. Um, yes, merchandise is coming with angry shark. I actually have a. I have an image. I've got the image I'm gonna use for the Angry Shark merch. Here, so this is a JPEG. Uh, sorry, this is a GIF. I'm gonna Photoshop it a little bit, but it's gonna be Angry Shark holding his shrimp. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna actually take, I'm gonna take like professional photos for the uh, merch. Jostler, shut the hell up. Jostler's turned heel, by the way. Listen, cover your shrimp with your hair. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Jay, where's remittal? What? What does that mean? Sonic. Hot dog suit, St. Rose style. Ah, uh, I don't know. Cereal Vapors put on the other hot dog. Did he put out after the ice cream date? No, Cereal Vapors did not put out after the ice cream date. I was very disappointed. Oh, let's do a live taste testing. 
I just bought these. I don't know what they taste like. Mini waffles. Waffle minis. Artificial flavor cereal. That's all it's called. It smells sweet. Also, the box is open. That's great. Here we go. Miniature waffles. Let's see how they taste. Dude, this is that opened too weird. Okay, here we go. Holy shit. It's got a strong maple syrup flavor. Or smell. Ah, it's not bad. Where's the uh, where's the slow sonic suit? Slow Sonic's in my bedroom. I forgot, I'm gonna order another stand for another iPad here. So it's Monday. How's everyone doing? How much is the stand again? Um, here it is. I, I'm gonna order another one. $49, all right. Add to cart. Paul the Alien says, Jay, you're an attractive man. What's up, probe? Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. What's going on? Um, I'm just going to buy this stand again. Sure. Boom. Now I got two stands. So, yeah, it's Monday. How many people are at work? What are you doing at work? You're fired. You should just come hang out with me. Just realize something. Um... Just realized something. If I move, if I move this up here, oh my God, hang on guys. Oh God. Here it comes. There. I put it on the counter, the stand on the counter. So you guys could be, uh, a little bit higher up. There you go. There you go. Crank that hog. Listen, I'm gonna get a hog and come down there and ride it into your backyard. We're gonna barbecue that hog. By the way, there's been a muffin in my sink for 24 hours. This is what it turned into. It smells good. Okay, Gabriel says I'm working. Yeah, I would not eat that cupcake. You know what we'll do? Let's, let's try one from the fridge, okay? I haven't had one of these cupcakes since yesterday. Let's see if they actually taste good. Google Fish says smells like nuts. It does. Cupcake outside still there? Um, oh yeah, there's a cupcake outside. I don't even know why. Let me look. Now, it looks like it. It looks like a squirrel got away. A squirrel got that cupcake this morning. I think. Could you imagine a squirrel just holding a cupcake? Because that's literally what happened. So last night I made about um, I don't know how many I made. Twelve cupcakes, and a squirrel. I put two cupcakes outside after the stream just to see if a squirrel would eat it, and it looks like two squirrels took two cupcakes. So. Here we go. I haven't had one of these since yesterday. Let's see what the taste is. So I'm, I'm not gonna eat the bottom of it because it's probably boring and it smells good. It smells like cherry chip. That's what it is, by the way, cherry chip. Here we go. Travel Star says, do you miss editing for Review Tech USA? Not really. Um, this is pretty good. All right, so in terms of like editing for him, do I miss it? I mean, slightly. It was kind of nice being able to like do a video that I knew a lot of people would see. Like a hundred thousand people would see my jokes and see my editing style. And I miss that to a certain degree, but not, I wouldn't say I miss working with him. 
at all. You know, it's let's just say it's been a little stress free ever since I started doing my own thing, right? I just knocked the cupcake on the floor. Yeah, so there's my answer on that one. I, I don't miss it. You'll get those numbers soon enough. Oh, you know what? My channel right now, um, I think it's leveled out to where it's going to basically stay for streams and for the amount of people that are going to be members and all of that stuff. So I appreciate everybody being a member here at the moment here. There's tons of members here. I think we've built a nice little community here. Um, Gary Fox, have you seen Late Night with the Devil? It's so good. Yes, I did watch that recently after a stream last week. Uh, it came out on to Shutter here in Canada. So I'm like, okay, I need to go watch this movie. So I did. And I give it a solid 8 out of 10. I think that uh, David Dash Dashamil or whatever his name is, he um, he holds that movie together. He's pretty good in that part. But um, I don't think it's perfect. I don't like the last reel where it got out of hand with the demon and everything. I was like, okay, I get it. I get it. And it's very predictable, but I still still really enjoyed it. Uh, Demolition Daddy, how you doing, buddy? Says, so you still making your movie? Yes, still working on my movies. Um, I actually ordered a VHS camcorder to be able to do some little side project that I want to do for YouTube. I'm going to start a horror, uh, an analog horror series on YouTube. Um... I shouldn't say it's going to last long. It's going to only be four episodes. But that's something that'll that'll come at a later date. Um, so right now I'm about to go off to North Carolina to shoot a documentary about a car. Did I watch a new Deadpool trailer? Yes. I think it looks exactly what I thought it would be. Every time I say analog horror, every, somebody in the chat always says analog horror. <laughs> Doug, you're four episodes. Doug, what's up? Shannon says, cool. Shannon, you're not my ex-girlfriend, are you? Because my ex-girlfriend's name was Shannon, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was my ex-girlfriend watching. That would be weird. Shannon, are you my ex-girlfriend? Don't lie. Have a safe road trip. Well, I'm actually flying in. So you guys over the next three months are going to see a lot of behind the scenes when it comes to the documentary we're shooting. Alice says, uh, Shannon says no. Okay, good news, Shannon. Thank you. Brother, we have the same hair. My sister's here. Uh, my hair's longer. So Juicy Booch is here. Juice, what are you doing? How's your day? I hope you're having a good day, dude. Uh, no, we're not flying in private jet. So here's where we're going. North Carolina. We're going to Florida. We're going to New Jersey. I think uh, we're going to New York City. Oh, shit. My thing is pink. Yes, it changed. You must have been a member for two months now. Jostler's turned heel, by the way. Sounds like something the ex would say, says Jason knowing. You know what? That's true, man. Just got off work, brother. Nice. Dude, you work early in the morning, eh? You're coming to Jersey? Yes, nightmare. I'm coming to Jersey. So I'm coming to four different states. Well, technically three different states over the next three months. So in about 27 days, I'm going to be in North Carolina. And then in June, we're going to Florida. So I believe Jostler. Well, there's a few people in Florida. Now, when I go to New Jersey and New York City, I'll try to do meetups with some of you guys. Night yeah, like Nightmare Style says, can I take you to lunch? I probably honestly won't have time to go to lunch. I really appreciate that, though. But um, Mario, he, I'd love to come back to Alberta. I dated a girl in Alberta in uh, Lethbridge. Her name was, what was her name? Laura. Laura? Was it Laura? I don't remember now. Whoops. 
Jostler, I, I hope you're going to follow me around. So yeah, I'll let you guys know when I'm in New York City. We're going to go to New York. We're going to go to fucking Boston. I don't know about Boston. I just said that. Sean has become... Welcome to Basic Legend, Sean. Thank you. Sean, I appreciate your support, dude. Mario, he says, I'll uh, feed you shrimp. Grubber the Great says, how old are you? Guys, guess. Take a wild guess how old I am. Well, you should come to Boston, says Alice. I've been to Boston. Boston. Hey, I've been to fucking Boston. You fucking can of corn. Um, I've been to Boston. 42, 41, 60. Somebody said 78. That person's banned in the chat now. G-Man says 73. He's banned as well. Gabriel says 69. He's banned. Jay is 69. 42. No one's got my date yet. No one said it. 26. Shannon, stop flirting with me. Jesus Christ. There you go. Alice. Alice, who is a mod here. Got it. By the way, Paul the Alien. Paul the Alien, I've made you a mod. Thank you for the support over the last couple of months. I appreciate it, Paul. You're now a mod. So if somebody comes in and starts talking shit, you can handle it. You could delete them. Now don't go banning everyone because somebody did do that. But Paul the alien, there you go. When did Paul get a membership? I don't know. Paul, when did you get a membership? It must have happened overnight. How do I see how long my membership has left? Well, you're technically a red member. So that means you're into your second month. So it should notify you. Yes, Paul, probe them, please. Thank you. Um, three days ago. There you go. Ban anyone in the chat that's not probing, please. Mario Heat says membership. Oh, yeah. If you guys gift memberships right now, I can't see it. Sorry. Hang on. I, I hate missing those things. So let me pull the... Got another iPad here. I got fucking iPads coming out my ass. iPad Pros coming out my ass. Which, you know, they're really good for editing, to be honest. They run DaVinci Resolve. Well, at least on the, the, um, on the uh, newer ones. <sighs> okay, hang on. I'm just pulling up the chat. Pulling up the chat. Okay, here we go, live. Okay, here's the chat, I got it. Can somebody post the link to the memberships? Um, Dead man says, come visit me. Dude, I love to. Bro, do you watch Berserker? I have never seen Berserker. Now I have the um, the first, hang on, why is this not loading right, man? Got, like you got one job, YouTube. Quality. Put it on the lowest. Okay, to become a member, there it is in the chat. If you want to become a member, I appreciate it, guys. Doug, thank you, dude. Mr. Williams says, lucky bastard. I don't know. Um, YouTube is a distractor. Totally is, man. Do you think console gaming will die? Uh, gaming Survivor, that's actually a good question. Let's talk about that for a second. I feel like gaming is in a rut at the moment. There's a lot of great games coming out. For instance... The new Stellar Blade game comes out this Friday. I'm going to review it on the show. And I played the demo of that game. It's, it's an amazing experience. It's kind of a throwback to like a PS3 era game. I don't know if console gaming will die anytime soon. But I'm guessing it's going to probably die within the next 10 to 20 years. I think we still have a giant block of time. You keep freezing. 
Do I? Am I freezing, guys? Let me know. Sorry, Shannon. No, I'm good? Okay. Shannon, must be your internet. Let me go get my water. Listen, froze your shrimp. Look, we got a special guest back here. This is Mrs. Bones. Amanda says, I bet your mom left for milk. What the fuck does that mean? Is that a threat? <laughs> Joshua says, I don't see console game going anywhere till streaming games come up to snuff. That's true. You know, I, I don't think we're going to see a lot of console gaming die as well until streaming really starts to take over. By the way, this is a uh, roly poly. Cody says, I'm from uh, Ottawa. Congratulations, Cody. Can you sub, says goat. No, I can't. Hi, Mrs. Boneses. Mrs. Bones is the cat. Stellar bot, I'm so ready. Holy Sir Jax, man. It's been a long time since I played a game where the main character looked like that. I mean, Bayonetta, obviously, is a game series that has, has some uh, <clears throat> titillating assets in it. Yo, Jay, uh, you see this, you see the trend of good quality shows complimenting video games. Mario Heat, yes, I have. You know, we got The Last of Us, which was a pretty good show based on reviews. T to be honest, I've never watched it. <laughs> I felt like The Last of Us show, I was like, nah. I mean, it's the video game come to life. I get it. Justin Blades, what's up, dude? I get it. I understand why a lot of people want to watch that show, but I just, I don't know, man. Lollipop Chainsaw, says Sean. Yeah, dude, Lollipop Chainsaw back in the day was, like, crazy. Shannon says, so cute. Are you talking about my kitty? My kitty cat? Yeah, this is Zelda. See? Fallout show is great. Yes, I did a, I did a review of that on my channel. So if you guys want to check it out, click my channel. Also, if you guys could like this stream, I'd appreciate that. We're at 46 likes. Thank you. Amanda says, just kidding. What did she say? I didn't catch it. I saw the first episode of Fallout. It was super awesome. Says Juice Booch. Listen, Booch, you got to watch the rest of it, man. It is incredible. Keeps you on the edge of your seat. You constantly want to know what's going to happen to the characters. All three of the protagonists are incredible in the show. <clears throat> Left says there's going to be a remaster of Lollipop Chainsaw. I'll buy that for sure. I will totally buy that. Hi from Dublin. Holy shit. Shannon's in Dublin. She's in Dublin, hi. Gonna come down there, mate. I'm from Australia, I'm gonna come down there and move in with you. Jedi Survivor's coming to Game Pass, says Jostler. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, Azeroth says, I, I saw Grave Encounters for the first time a few days ago. The movie impressed the hell out of me. Yeah, dude. That's a bit of a cult classic now. It's been a long time since I've seen Grave Encounters, but, you know, that, I think Grave Encounters came around the time of Blair Witch Project. I think Blair Witch Project inspired tons of directors, so it's going to be interesting to see what they do with this new Blair Witch remake that they've announced, but it's, if you guys don't know, the, the original cast members of Blair Witch Project just recently came out and said that they're owed a lot of money which was crazy to see. And they're asking Lionsgate, the company that owns Blair Witch IP, 
to give them residuals. Did you hear about this? So if you guys don't know, that's crazy. Mario says hello from the sex shack. That cat is so cute. Yes, that cat is cute. So apparently all of the stars of Blair Witch Project who basically helped make the film and shoot it had no script, had no camera abilities. They went out there, made the movie, it got edited, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, they, they've they got no residuals for the last 20 something years. Yeah, gaming, they got fired. They got fired for sure. They should be paid, says Left Control Gaming. I totally agree. So is everyone off today? Is there, or is there people at work right now? Nova says, become a Jesus member for the low price of $55,000. Thank you. I should start a cult. Allegedly, that's a joke. Do they also do the sequel movies? No, Mario Heat. The cast didn't had nothing to do with anything. Adam W. says, I have no work. I have no life. Take says, I, who needs work? Serge X says he's working. Mario Heat says, I'm working from home. Uh, I work overnight, so just chilling, says um, Nightmare Style Jack. By the way, Nightmare Style Jack, just want to say thank you for the support. I appreciate all those super chats you did yesterday in the last couple of days. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to Zelda. She's going to get her legs back. It means a lot to our Angry Shark. Are you fucking telling me? You telling me I got no shrimp? 16-bit Seth. What's going on, dude? Nightmare. Thank you, dude. A guy tried to kill me last night, says Shannon. Well, that's... Is this... This is turning into some sort of weird horror movie. I left work early, haven't been in the best mental mood today. Listen, Zalen. Shout out to Zalen in the chat, not feeling well. I just want to point this out. Zalen, I would say Zalen was like the first per well, I wouldn't say he's the first. How do I word this? He was the first person who literally was like, Jay, I love what you do. Here's here's a fucking large amount of donations. You can relax, go have fun on your show. And I was just like, holy shit, dude. And it was just like, he was just like, I don't expect anything back. But then he started editing clips. Zalen in the chat started editing my clips together. And lo and behold, did we know this? We didn't know this about him. He's also a very good editor. He's, he's going to tell me to shut up in a minute. Biff, what's up? But yeah, Zalen is a goddamn legend. The reason why this show is continuing to go on is impartial to Zalen. Without Zalen's support at the beginning there, I would have been working in a fucking van down by the river. Producers message me. Let's get a let's get a live reaction to what <clears throat> producer is saying. Hey brother, would love to have a conference with you and my uglier half. That's his brother. Just to see where we're at with everything regarding coming up trip. Um, we need to give serious thought into buying the second camera. Okay, hang on. Let me message him. Find out when your slut of a brother can do the call. I can't do it today, but I could probably do it tomorrow around 5 to 6 p.m. There you go. That's that's producing movies. By the way, Zalen, you are not f fired. It says Walio, Big Hearts, also Jay is like butter to my buns. Shout out to Doug, by the way. Doug's in the chat here. That is another, you know, major supporter of me. Um, he, without Doug... The memberships wouldn't be as high as they are. He's done tons of super chats. Thank you, Doug. Seriously, man. Without your support, nobody would be watching me right now, to be honest. Without you uh, 
helping me the way you have, man. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the entertainment. Uh, Drummer Punk 2, thank you for the donations you've been giving. Uh, you know, everyone that's here right now that has like Triforces next to their name, thank you for being members. Just want to say that quickly. Paul the Alien, thank you for all the support you've been sending in. Jostler, thank you for your support too. Um, you know, I like to take a, a moment just to say thank you to those people because, again, yeah, wouldn't be doing the show. Biff. Yeah, ones is on. <laughs> ones is Serge X. Serge X is constantly here. Thank you. My sister says I've given donations. Yeah. How much? Two bucks. Even though you have a brand new baby, you've only given your brother two dollars. It's disgusting. You owe me about 35 years of birthday gifts. King of Les, King of Les was a maniac. Oh man, thank you, King of Les too. What the hell? The shrimps, it's like a tail coming to get me. Demonk Venom says, I got two memberships. Don't know where they came from. Probably $100 total. Have you? Have you actually given me $100 total? What? Yeah, Cypher says $2. That's the worst sister ever. I absolutely agree. She's only given me $100, which I'm going to probably give back to her now, I realize. But she's only, my sister only gave me $100. She goes, you owe me and your niece. I sent a Kirby hat back. Did you not see that Kirby hat? Portable ham sandwich. God damn you. You goddamn portable sandwich. I love you. Portable ham sandwich is another legend. I just want to say thank you too. A hundred push-ups and you get a thousand dollars. Steph says, um, you owe me chicken nuggies. Listen, I'm going to put chicken nuggies on your ass and slap it. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I don't know who that is. Jay, you collect games? Yeah, kind of. The shelves are back there for that. I, I don't really collect that many games anymore because money. You know, I'm trying to save money. Your sister makes, Jocelyn says your sister makes 600K a year and can't donate. I know, it's disgusting. It's like my mom's really disappointed in her. It's disgusting. Jay, I got Jay, I got a DVD, but it's region two. Can you play it? Um actually no. So yeah, dude, do not send region two DVDs to my PO box. I can't uh, play region two. If it's 4K, there's no region locking on 4K Blu-rays, but um I can only do region one. Juicy says uh blockbuster shelves. I do believe those are old school blockbuster shelves. I think so. I'm not 100% sure about that. Jay, check your discords when you have a sec. It's just a message. Okay. Can I do a kickflip? So I used to skate in like 1994. You have something for me coming around May 2nd in the PO box. Just a heads up. What did you do? Why? Dude, Zalen, why? Hack your player, says Viperize. Viperize is another dude that I need to call out right now. Viperize has supported the stream with, like, lunacy. With, like, super chats. With fucking uh, a million members. Thank you, dude. <coughs> I, I appreciate you, buddy. Most DVD players can be unlocked with code via the remote. Chris, uh, can you, wait, is uh, PlayStation 5, can you do that on PS5? A man is 
Viper. Yes, he is a Viper man. Juicy. Juicy, what are you doing for the rest of the day? Just having a chill day? Damn. What did he say? Damn, I can't send it to you then? That's fine, man. Um, damn, I'll have to watch it for you then. Never mind. Biff. Thanks, though. I appreciate it. Wait, PS5, it's region free. Never mind, Biff. I can. My ass is re region free, says Mario Heat. That's disgusting. My probes are region free. Tried to send you headphones? What? I tried to send you headphones, but Canada sucks. What did you try to do? By the way, um, I did not buy any new headphones yet. So on stream the other day, everyone was like, buy it. What is that? Portable ham sandwiches. Um, I am supporting your gout addiction. <laughs> listen, <clears throat> portable ham sandwich. Listen, I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, man. I am supporting your gout addiction. Addiction. I have an addiction to getting an addiction to gout. He's totally right. PS5 is supposed to be be slightly better than the Xbox for 4K Blu-rays. Uh, I can attain to that. I play... So, when I got uh, Blade Runner 2049 on 4K, it was fucking... Shannon, thank you. It was terrible. A terrible experience on my Xbox. PlayStation 5 played it. Now, I've also noted the PlayStation 5 also has audio issues sometimes. So that's kind of weird. Cypher, you listen, goddammit. Thank you for the support. I've seen you here so many times. I appreciate you. You know, I want that hairy face dad, daddy boy. <laughs> so, what? Mr. Williams says, this is my super chat for you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Thank you for the super chats. Listen, I appreciate it. Nova, I do not. Breaking news. You, uh, what? A UFO has landed in South Dakota? Holy shit, breaking news. Mr. Williams, thank you. Let's look this up on... Uh, breaking news. UFO has landed in South Dakota. Um... Yeah, no. I looked. It's a lie. Sorry. This drummer, what's going on, dude? What are you doing for the day? So, Shannon says, I watch you every day. Thank you. That's creepy. I appreciate you watching every day. What are you doing for the day? So, I'm going to stream until around 5 o'clock today. So, I'll be here for another two hours. So, get ready for my gorgeous face. Um, tonight, I'm hanging out with my girlfriend. Tomorrow during the day, her and I are going to paint pottery together. Here's what it looks like. Listen, look at my painted pottery. There you go. I painted him. This is Sir Mugsworth, the dragon. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm dead serious. We're going to go paint pottery tomorrow. I won't live stream it, but we're going to paint pottery tomorrow. The Florida, what's up? You are a man, Jay. Thank you. Florida Farmer, appreciate the support. You're a man. Don't you dare tell me I'm a man. You're a man. But, dude, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I paint pottery with my girlfriend on, uh, Tuesdays sometimes. I think tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'm going to, I'm going to paint, but there's a lot of options. But yeah, he's cool. There's piggy banks. There's all sort of, uh, sorts of stuff. Where's the piggy bank mom gave you? That was mine. It's in, it's on the set. So if you want it back, send me a hundred dollars. That actually looks good, not going to lie. Was expecting a terrible elementary school quality. <laughs> Viper, I thought I was handicapped. 
He thought I was a 42-year-old handicapped man. Look, it's it's great. It's great. It's a little dull somewhere here and here, but look at the details. You know, this is like red. You know, look at this chest piece. It's got a little bit of darker on it's like I love my I love my dragon. Mr. Williams says L. J. Hubbard is one true god. Mr. Williams, cheers to you. Thank you. I am a god. Can you make a Halloween cup? I could. Hey, that, that's not a bad idea. No, it looks so good. Thanks, man. So we're going to paint tomorrow. Yeah, I, I do have a little artistic skills. Not autistic skills, artistic. Probably both. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to paint tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Siri, shut the fuck up. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to paint tomorrow. I'll probably post some photos on my uh, Twitter so you guys can see what we do. But there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff to choose from at that store. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. What do we have in the fridge? By the way, I broke my uh, freezer the other day. Uh, I accidentally... I accidentally left... I left two muffins in the freezer. <laughs> it's hard as a rock. <laughs> oh, whoops. Why is this not turning well? Hang on. Hang on, what the fuck is this doing? I guess it turns better when it's higher up. Whoops. Whoops. Oil up. Oil up and hit the gym with me. Yep. They're, uh... They were in the freezer. Here's what I'm going to do with them. Ready? Let's try to hit... I don't... Man, you know what? I'll probably break something if I throw it up there. I was going to try to hit... We should get a target for up there so I can throw things at it. Those are hard breasts. Hi. Oil up and uh, oil up and hit the gym with me. Just got back from the gym, says Cypher. Cypher, appreciate your body, the way you work out, the dedication. Jeff, Steve, what's in the chat? What's going on? You could kill a man with those. Yes, don't break anything expensive. Um, I've never broke anything super expensive, so don't worry about that. Throwing cupcakes in the house. No throwing cupcakes in the house? I'll do what I want. You see the dust that came off that? <clears throat> what happened to the third light in the ceiling? Um, can you see that? Can you see that? I broke it. <coughs> Jay, can you show us your desk setup? Yes. Donald Trump's tremendous stakes. You want to see it? So this is my portable desk setup. You guys sometimes wonder how I live stream. I'll show you. So I'm able to move this thing around. So it's a, it's a rising desk on wheels. It's nothing special, but I'm able to move it wherever I want when it comes to where I want it for the stream. So I have the PC actually behind it. So if I move this, you guys can see the PC is actually right here. So it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a disaster at the moment. But yeah, the PC is right here and the whole desk can be wheeled around so I can move the set around. So I, you know, have different points of view with the camera, right? So the camera's right here. It's a Sony FX30 with a master lens on it. And I'm able to basically move it around the uh, living room however I see fit. Now I'm getting a new computer in the next couple of days uh, sent to me from the UK 
or sorry, from uh, Europe. I have a beast of a computer showing up soon. <laughs> Juicy Booch, I'd love to move all over you. You look like a poor Linus Tech Tips. Thank you. Yes, I don't have a multi-million dollar stream setup. So yes, I do look like a poor Linus Tech Tips. I think it's a pretty good setup. No? You know, you can move it around a anywhere in the living room. What games are you playing at the moment? Uh, what games am I playing at the moment? I'm playing Unicorn Overlord, which is not exactly what I thought it would be. I thought it would be a bit of a... Yeah, I'm being uh, th th throttled by a shrimp. You are retro gamer, says Sea of Nintendo. Sea of Nintendo. I definitely could be considered a retro gamer, but I play a lot of more of the newer games. But I also have quite a bit of the old stuff lying around this apartment. So I'm, I'm you know, I'm 43 years old, so I grew up playing Super Nintendo, Nintendo, PlayStation 1. Dreamcast, slap my butt. Listen, you got to pay me on OnlyFans for that. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Shannon, make sure you come back, y'all. So, yeah, that's my setup there. It moves around. I actually have to unplug everything sometimes to move it. Um, because the power bar... There we go. So now it's not going to get pulled when I move it over here. So that is the, that's a computer I use that was sent over from Review Tech USA, so it barely works, just so you know. It's crashed on stream twice, and the new computer is showing up in the next couple of weeks. It's an absolute beast. I don't even know what it is. Uh, I know it can probably edit like 8K footage, so that's going to be interesting. Jay, have you had a midlife crisis yet? No, not yet. I'm looking forward to it. Probably coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Paul the Alien says, I still have my Nintendo 64 games, like 50 games. Dude, that's amazing to have. There's one thing I want to talk about quickly. It's just like sort of... I, I've come to the realization that I only need a certain amount of things in my life. So like all of the stuff that I owned in the past, like collecting movies and all that stuff, it's not necessary, you know? Um, it's like that Japanese woman says. She's like, hold something in your hand and if it sparks joy in your hand, then you should keep it. But... If there's an item in your house that you're like, okay, let me hold this and see if it, like this, right here. They're like, does it, spe does it spark joy into your hand? Yes. You know what I mean? This fucking movie I found for 25 cents on one of our journeys last week. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know, man. Like, I, I'm 43. I wish I spent my money more wise when I was a little younger. However... I mean, right now I'm sitting on top of a whole production studio behind me. So there's lighting, there's, that's what that giant breast is right there, by the way. That is a light. If you guys don't know, that's a soft dome. So that basically turns the light to a more softer uh, fall off on the face. But yeah, I, I've never had a need to go back in time and purchase everything that I owned. You know, I think a lot of people go back to doing that because of the innocence and the, you know, times were easier when you were a kid. But I don't, um, I don't actually feel that way about like a lot of the stuff that I collect. Shannon, enjoy that. I, I don't even know what that means. So my breast light, sorry, I gotta go get my ice pop. That's, that's weird. Yeah, so in terms of, like, nostalgia, 
I don't really have nostalgia for many things that I have to go back in time and collect. My advice to everybody is just, you know, if you're about to buy something, ask yourself, double, do a double take and be like, why am I buying this, right? I already threw the muffin. Where's the muffin? Where's the muffin man? Gaffs, listen, I'm going to put an ice pop in your ass. Um, so yeah, use your emulation. Well, there's, there's one example of, you know, playing in the past. You could just use emulation, right? So for me, yeah, the Roman Victor, he collects a lot of stuff. I don't like spending money, says Nate. Yeah, I don't, um, <laughs> you know, ever since I stopped working for Rich, I was like, well, I'm going to go do my own live show and see how that goes. Now, for the first three months, guys, the show's done amazingly well. And because it's done amazingly well... I have been able to, I think I already announced this, but I've been able to, well, I'm going to upgrade my uh, cinema camera this year from a 4K cinema camera, uh, micro four thirds sensor, which is a very small sensor. We're talking like that big. It's not big at all. Like that's the sensor size to a full frame sensor, which is about that big. So the idea is that I'm going from 4K small sensor and I'm going to upgrade to a full-fledged, full-frame camera this year that shoots at 6K. So it's going to get serious because the body alone is like, I don't even know how much it is. The body of the camera is probably $4,000 or something crazy. So yeah, I got to take it seriously, right? If I spend that money, it better, it better be like, on something I'm going to uh, use. So I'm upgrading to the, what is it called now? It, it goes for $4,300 just for the body. It's called the Blackmagic Pixis. It just was announced recently. It shoots in a full frame 6K. It's gorgeous camera. It looks like this. So... The problem with upgrading your camera is you also have to upgrade your lens, you know? So that's going to be also expensive to do. But again, I want to make films. So that's what you have to do, right? Um, quality wise, uh, you know, it's, you can't beat it. It's going to look ridiculous. These lenses, man, they're going to get pricey, says Drummer Punk. Yeah, I know. So the body is about $5,000, and then I'm probably going to have to spend another four or $5,000 just on two lenses. You know, the lens probably costs $2,000 each. So we'll see how that goes. You know, I'll probably have to buy one immediately, which will probably be... Um, I'll probably buy a 50 millimeter one first because... I need a 50 millimeter and then I need a wide, probably a 22. So anyways, I don't like, let me just ask this question. Cause I don't know. There's only 140 people watching right now. Usually it's like 250 or 200 question. How many of you care about learning about the filmmaking journey I'm going on? Like, do you care about me talking about that shit or kind of curious? Let's see what you guys say. Oh, oh, oh. Serious Sam says yes. Thank you. Appreciate you. I do. I find it interesting. I'm into it. Me. Make a poll. Listen. Ride my poll. Al says yes. I like it. It's going to be super nice. Yeah, dude. The footage is going to look just absolutely crazy. All right. So it seems like a lot of people do care about it. Cool. I didn't know. You know, I never want to come on stream and be like, guys, I'm going to make my beats and I'm going to cry over them. Looking like a double wide super goddamn. <laughs> Looking like a double wide surprise goddamn. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Thank you for the super chat, super nerd. <laughs> so yeah. 
Right now, let me just show you something. So I, I, I live stream from that camera right there. That camera is the Sony FX3. The body costs about uh, $2,200 in Canada. The lens that's on there is about a thousand bucks. However, we did buy a G Master lens. This is the top of the line Sony lenses that you can, I mean, they, they're F 1.4. So I'm not gonna get into the details of what that really means. It just basically means the aperture can go to 1.4 at its lowest, so it's a super fast lens. That means it lets a lot of light into the sensor. So you can shoot in a lot of low light situations. However, the focal distance, I don't know if anyone knows what that means, but the focal distance, um, or sorry, the focal point, I should say, is like paper thin when you're shooting at uh, you know, 1.4 aperture so that basically means that if i was shooting with this and i'm at 1.4 there's a focus plane that's about that wide so if somebody's being interviewed and they move forward a little bit they go out of focus at a low aperture so it's ef 1.4 this is a 35 millimeter lens but because this camera is a super 35 it's not a full frame you have to do a conversion so this comes out to be about a 40 48 millimeter or something lens and 50 millimeter lenses on cameras are what the eyes essentially see humans as. So if you're looking at somebody, your eye is looking at them through a 50, 50 millimeter lens, which again, if you're doing a documentary, you definitely want to have a relatable viewpoint. You're not going to shoot a documentary on like a 22 millimeter lens of somebody's face. They're not going to look human, especially if you get up close to them. So it's, it's known as the nifty 50. At least that's, that's usually what the, the nifty 50 is a Canon lens. Just so you guys know, that's where that came from. So at the end of the day, we're going to, I think we're going to buy a second body and have the nifty 50 on one and that right there this is <laughs> that's super wide that's a 15 millimeter lens if i was shooting in the kitchen right now it gets the whole goddamn kitchen right but the problem is when you get close up to somebody on a wide angle lens their face actually gets squished when you get um say a 150 millimeter lens their face actually gets pulled apart because we're shooting on a telephoto lens. So anyways, long story short, 50 millimeter is where you want to be if you're doing portraits as well. Hulk Hogan's giant taint. I'd like to take, I'd like to touch your super wide body. <laughs> oh. Terrible, I'm gonna get canceled. Shannon says, uh, tell me if you're on live tomorrow because I have to go. Uh, I'll be live tomorrow around 7, 7.30. We'll do, um, we'll do a chat then. Pootie Pie says, uh, I know 50 millimeters are the most, um, all I know about lenses is essentially that most uh, concert photographers use it. Yeah, so 50 millimeter, is what you want if you want to capture a person's face to one to one. So right now you're looking at my face. I don't know what this lens is on the uh, front face. What is the front face? Let me ask. Hey Siri, what's, hey Siri, what is the front facing camera on an iPad Pro? I found this on the web. Um, front facing camera, iPad pro, iPad pro. Let's see. Um, it's 12 megapixel. It doesn't actually say the millimeters on it. 
ultra wide. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. I know that the uh, back cameras on the iPhone 15, one of them's like a 22. By the way, let's check in on my Amazon orders. Arriving today between 4.30. So guys, I ordered I ordered a few things for the show. One of them one of them is this. Don't even ask. Don't even ask. Don't even ask what that is. Juicy Booch, thank you. Uh, you're a juicy man. I think Apple uses Sony lenses. Paul the Alien, I think you're right. Uh Pootie Pie says I used to dabble in photography. I do too, by the way. So some people have been curious about this, what I do on the side for uh, a hobby. I actually do macro photography. I almost just showed breasts. I do macro photography on the sides. So one day we're going to go down to the park and do that together. Let me show you. Let me show you this. By the way, this is, this is actually me as a horse. See the resemblance? But... Here, I do macro photography. Let me show you some shots. I think I think my favorite shot of all time, I'll just show you one. Sorry, it's a lot of fucking photos here. Holy crap, how many photos do I have? Honestly, I, this is still going. Okay, you know what? Maybe, it, where are they? Deleted? Really weird. Oh, here they are. All right, so here is my favorite photo of all time that I've taken. I don't know how this is going to show up here, but uh, what you're about to see is a spider. He's like this big in real life. So mac macro photography is very tricky to do. So I got this little jumping spider. It's, it's kind of out of focus on the camera here, but you guys can see. It's, it's in focus in real life. Very hard to see here, but that's my favorite shot of all time. Just a little jumping spider who's like peeking his head out. And then um, the other one I'm really proud of would be, you know, I, I there's a few that are like super easy stuff. Like there's a horse fly, big deal. But the other one I'm super proud of is this one. I love that one. So that's just, that's shooting down a pipe. Little spider, that's what you get. <sighs> Brett, thank you, dude. Micro photography, macro photography. Am I saying it wrong? Lone Wolf, J bro, do you want to play a game? You will you win, I'll send you a $1,000 dono to a charity of your choice. Lone Wolf, what is the game? What kind of game? Maya Mofo, what's going on? Nice to see you here. Appreciate the support. Um, we need more Zelda. She's playing right now. Leave her alone. How dare you? Shrimp man. Steph, what's going on? Hope you're having a good day, Steph. Listen, my tip sensing is tingling now, says uh, Living Legend. Legend, listen, show us your tip. Insomniac says, hi, Jesus. Thank you. How are you doing, Insomni? 
Guess my top speed in my car and guess my car, says Lone Wolf. Uh, you're probably in a, a BMW M4, top speed 275 miles per hour. Sir Jax, what's going on? Nice neck pillow. Dude, you haven't seen the, the evolution of the neck pillows. Look at that little beast. Baby. Hi. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. They want to see you. Can they see you quickly? I know. She doesn't like to be picked up, guys, so. Oh, what? You don't like to be picked up? You don't like to be picked up, baby? She's going to jump to her death here. Will you calm down? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Shh. shh. Mwah. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. You're going down. We're going down. <laughs> she doesn't like to be picked up. Mwah. Now I got hair on me. Nova says, I love that kitty. I don't know what happened to her. She just doesn't like to be picked up. Okay, close. It's a British car. They no longer exist. I can hit 100 and, 180. It's a turbo series. Dude, I, 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 that's your hints. It's a British car. <laughs> a British car, <coughs> a British car, man. Makeshift Mulder, what's up? I honestly don't know, man. Marlowe's like, make the cat poop. Is she an indoor cat? Drama Punk, yes. Zelda is an indoor cat. Glamorous, how are you doing today? That was a 10 out of 10 burp. Thank you. Appreciate it, D. So what games are you guys playing? Let me know in the chat now. I'm curious on what games you're playing. Oh, I got a new game to play here. Jostler just sent me the best photo of Zelda ever. <laughs> that's a that's a cat that, that just, just does not want to be on stream. Alright, so I ordered a game. We're gonna play it on stream this coming week. This week, I should say. There we go. I don't know why I got back. I, I was watching Dark Side of the Ring last night, and dude. This, I can't wait to play this now. So we're going to play this, pro I don't know what day exactly yet. I'll let you guys know in the, later today. I'll post the uh, streaming schedule. So tomorrow I'll be streaming from about 7.30 until God knows when, which is Tuesday. Wednesday, I'll stream as well. I just don't know what time. Thursday, I'm going to stream as well. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, then my best friend is showing up. And Hem and I are probably going to go make a short film for you guys. Just like a stupid little short film. So, thank you for the support. I'll be here all week. Dark Side of the Ring is awesome. Yeah, Paul the Alien, I agree, man. Dark Side of the Ring is such a good show. Um, so I watched episode one, which was about Randy Savage. Oh, yeah, brother. I, I mean, I can't believe... I can't believe how much influence uh, the WWF had on me as a child. I never talk about that on the show, but... Uh, Nova, yes, if you donate enough money, I will do that. In a personal stream. So let me know in the chat... What games you're playing and what? who's your favorite wrestlers, by the way? Have you? Yes, yeah, Steph says, have I watched the show? 
Yes, Steph, I reviewed it on the channel. If you want to go watch my review, there's a link to it on the channel. I hope 2K24 is amazing. I heard it was really good, so... Jostler, I'm sure that episode's fucking hard to watch, man. Totally. Ooh, yeah! <clears> Hurts <throat> my throat. <coughs> You're fired. Um... I was more of a Macho Man fan than a Hulk Hogan fan, says uh, Paul the Alien. What, what was your favorite wrestler back in the day if you're old enough to watch classic WWF wrestling? For me personally, man, I think Ultimate Warrior really fucking kicked it up a notch. I loved The Undertaker back in the day. Stone Cold Steve Austin, when he showed up, that changed everything. I loved Heartbreak Kid. Uh, Shawn Michaels was incredible. Bret the Hitman Hart. You know, he's Canadian, I'm Canadian, so obviously we had to root for him. Um, I'm trying to think who else, like, other wrestlers that were a little less known back in the day. I love Goldust, because it was so fucking ridiculous. The Freak, listen, I'm going to come down there and, and get you. I'm going to get you good. Yeah, Undertaker was amazing. The Montreal Screwjob, I, I watched that episode last night. Isn't that unbelievable what they did to Bret Hart? So, yeah, I'm a huge fan of wrestling. I just haven't watched it. I didn't watch it between, say, like, the 2000 and something era. Like, I watched most of the Attitude Era. So I watched a ton. What the fuck was that? Did, so did something fall behind me, or was there, like, a... I think I'm having a stroke. I'm having a goddamn stroke. Speaking of stroke, I'm gonna stroke you. <laughs> we're gonna make a pizza. So we're gonna make a pizza in honor of you guys. This pizza is bacon, what is it? Bacon potato flatbread. It is so good. Oh. Okay, oven is heating. I'm starving, man. Do you like ice? Yes, I like ice. What a weird question. That's what the pizza looks like. I love this pizza, by the way. So that'll be ready soon. Bacon potato, yeah, yeah, yeah. It uh, takes nine minutes. Delicious. <clears throat> Flatbread, yes. Uh, somebody said I like the buffalo version of that. Crazy, I've never had that. Glamorous frog, fly down here. You can have it. Carbs on my gout. Listen, I'd like to gout you. Uh, Shannon says I'm back. Did you miss me? We all missed you. Do you like water? <laughs> yes. Jay, when is the 16K TV you ordered coming in? Dude, um, I will never get a 16K television. I've got a 4K OLED C3 right over there, which I watch. See it? I watch all of my uh, stuff on that. Hi, do you like houseplants? Yeah, I give a houseplant a 5 out of 10. Actually, I should get some plants in here. It might, like, liven up the place. Okay, Zelda's playing scared the shit of me. Do I like oxygen? Yes. Real spoilers says LG OLED is the best. That's why I got the C3, dude. It was on sale. It was, like, three grand a couple of years ago or a year ago. So I watch all of my stuff on that bad boy over there. You know. As you guys know, I have a massive horror movie collection, so I've been watching a lot of like uh, films that I missed. You want to? You guys want to see some of the recent pickups? Uh, Jay, do you like manually blinking? Yes. Do you like sleep? Eh, I like to sleep. I don't sleep that well, which is kind of weird. I wish I slept better, but I don't. 
Hey Siri, turn off the hallway light. Right here. Coming right up. Right there, turn that off, thank you. There, the glare is gone. Sony's new TV is going to be mini LD, L, mini OLED? No, mini LED, LED, ooh. Now everyone in the chat's conscious about blinking. Oh yeah, here, look. Here's my most recent pickups. So I got these in the last couple of months. I'm a huge fan of collecting Scream Factory Blu-rays. So I had to add these to the collection because I don't have the original Blu-ray versions, right? So first up, we got I got the Vwitch. The Vwitch, which I've tried to watch before. The reason I bought this because it was like super cheap. I think I got it for 10 bucks, but it's got audio commentary. I love listening to the commentary of these films because I learn a lot about them. Then I picked up Carrie, the remake in 4K. You know, some people are gonna be like, that's a terrible movie. I don't mind it, so I put it into the collection. Next up, I bought Upgrade. Upgrade is an amazing film, man. If you have not seen Upgrade, highly suggest it, su recommend it, I should say. It's a very well-told sci-fi story. And then, yes, I, some people are gonna be like, you bought that? It's part of the collection, man. And you know what? I don't mind this movie. As a Chucky movie, it's kind of like, ah, okay, okay. But as a, like a killer doll movie, there's some really good kills in the film. I'm not, I'm not gonna shit on top of the movie here. So. I also got this. I also picked that up. I've never seen it yet. Thank you, Angie. I've never seen this yet. Which, you know, I wonder if it has an alternate cover here. Let's see. That was filmed in Manitoba. Yes, it was. Shannon, I'm not gonna ask you a question. You can ask me a question. The answer is yes, I have a nice body. So the thing about Scream Factory is they always have a little bit of a secret on the inside. So sometimes it'll be old posters or it'll be this or it'll be that. But for this, this is the original Shining part one, part two. So this is an actual TV series that was out in the 90s. I think it came out in 1990. There's audio commentary by Stephen King, director Mark Garris and cast members. Absolutely insane, plus there's additional scenes, plus there's a 2K transfer. So, one thing I want to point out from Scream Factory is, if you look closely, it's been bent here, like the, the packaging. Scream Factory, what the fuck are you doing, man? Oh, well. So, Stephen King prefers this version over, you know, I'd like them to do a remake, to be honest. I know that sounds crazy, but I, I would not like a remake of The Shining because you can't redo The Shining. But I always thought that um, it'd be cool to see some of these things like brought back. Maya Mofo says, I have a ton of King books. That's crazy, man. Ducky says, damn, that hair looks good, man. Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's, it's, it's long hair. Oh yeah, it is coming out soon, Carl. Shannon says, what is your favorite color? I don't know if I have a favorite color anymore. Do I have a favorite color? Um, I used to like blood red and there was a reason for that because I love horror movies, but I also feel like 
as a human, this you guys are gonna be like Jay's lost his mind. He's fucking. He's on another level of insanity. But for me personally, every time I cut myself, I'm always fascinated. And it's not because I'm a creep or a weirdo. Well, that is true. But the the color of blood, you know, I learned this from film, has different consistencies based on how coagulated it is, right? Coagulated? Is that a word? Coagulated? <laughs> coagulated. Um, coagulated. Wait, coagulated is a word, isn't it? Isn't that when uh, blood dries? Or am I saying it wrong? <laughs> I think I'm saying it wrong. What is the word again? Coagulated. God damn it, I'm right. I'm saying coagulated. Um, hey Siri, what does coagulated mean? Coagulate means of a fluid, especially blood, change to a solid or semi-solid state. Yeah, I, I was right. So anyways, um, yeah, when I used to cut myself as a kid, I was like, what the fuck is this? Why is there this, like, blood coming at me? What is this color? Coagulated. Qua coagulated. Um, and so for the longest time, I'd say, like, blood red is my favorite color. It still is my favorite. When I cut, I cut myself on, uh, one of the streams a while back accidentally, and I was like, whoa, blood. So... Yeah, ever since I watched this documentary about the making of Psycho and how they used chocolate milk to simulate the blood in the bathtub scene, I've been fascinated with getting the right consistency of blood on film. I know what it is now, the secret. It's a mixture. So, there you go. Coagulated. Quackulated. What's my favorite type of toothpaste? Right there, Sensodyne. I don't know why. By the way, the um, my new my new horror shirts came in. Did you guys want to see those? I forgot to show them. So as most of you probably know, I'm a huge fan of Dawn of the Dead. So the uh, anniversary show, anniversary designs, I should say, came in. So there's that one, which is an absolute throwback to the, uh, the film. And then the crew shirt showed up. So I had to buy that for sure. That's just a crew shirt. And then on the back, it says, when there's no more room in hell. The dead will walk the earth. <sighs> Omar, what's up, dude? Angie, that's terrible. Reminds you of a Star Wars cover. It kind of does, doesn't it? So yeah, if you, if you actually have any questions for me, legitimately have questions rather than uh, what you guys are saying in the chat, let me know. Angie, I want... I went to the opening night of Dawn of the Dead. What? Omar, what's going on, dude? Nice to see you here. Jostler says, that's neat. Reminds me of the Star Wars cover. Alice says, who's your favorite serial killer? I don't know. <laughs> Do I have a favorite serial killer? So you guys know that my first short film is about a serial killer. So I did a lot of studying. On, and I would say that... Uh, that's a tough question, man. For me, for my, my short film, not to give anything away, but my short film, it was really about coming up with a motive that I've never seen before from a serial killer. And I met an actor who had a motive and he told me the motive. So I wrote the movie around this whole motive he had, which was just 
again, it, the motive he had for the film, it scares the shit out of me. It still scares the shit out of me. I'll tell you what the motive is. The motive, like, can you imagine a serial killer who believes in reincarnation to the point that he wants to do, he believes in dark matter as well. There's, yeah, I'm not going to give the details of it, but just imagine a serial killer who believes in reincarnation, but wants to do such sins on earth that he's never, his spirit is never reincarnated. So his motivation is like on another fucking planet. And I actually feel like, I feel like that is, um, that's a terrifying idea. Somebody who wants to do so much evil on earth so they don't get reincarnated. Um, but it gets a little deeper than that, which I won't give away, but that's the motive of the serial killer in the short film I'm, I'm still working on here. Um, I, I have to start editing that sh short film soon. Um, I don't know when it'll come out. I don't even know if it's done, to be honest. I think we shot, I've spent a lot of money on it. So we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. Paul the Alien says, sounds amazing. Thank you. Sounds awesome, he says. I appreciate it. I, d I think I did show you guys on stream at one point. That's just a movie about DSP. Yeah, totally. So, hang on a second here. So I would say last year I was sitting here and I'm like, oh shit, I just came up with an idea for the opening sequence. So what happened was I took this photo, right? Which is kind of the world upside down. And I thought if you get a drone shot of that from a certain point of view, you can start this sh horror short out and make the audience feel very uneasy because you're not used to seeing that angle, right? So I took the drone up and got that shot. So I actually ended up filming a little test of the opening sequence. That's what it'll look like. Now, obviously there's no music, but you guys get the idea of what that is. To me, it, it makes the audience just feel extremely sick to their stomachs right off the bat. And that's kind of what I wanted to achieve with the opening of the film. Also, the reveal of the title comes out of the clouds like that. I think it's I think that's what we're gonna go with in terms of the opening. So I shot that on a street just in town here. I don't know what made me think of that, but I like the idea of starting on the clouds and as a viewer, you think you're looking at the clouds like you normally would do from a perspective point of view. However, as the camera starts to pan down, you realize that we're actually inverted. So the idea is to have everything upside down, right? People are like that, I'm anxious now. I got sick from that. So, oh yeah, if you wanna follow me on Instagram. You know, here it is. There's my name. Jay Hooft. Paul the Alien, thank you, dude. Here's a few here's a few toonies and loonies for your next film. It's not much, but I'm here to support your filming dreams. Dude, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that, Paul the Alien. You goddamn legend. Yeah, I think in the next couple of weeks, I will do a stream talking about filmmaking. I don't think everyone's going to want to tune in for that, but I know there's a lot of people out there that actually want to start making movies. I forgot I followed you on Instagram. I need to check out your photos. <clears throat> Thank you, Nish. <clears throat> that shot could work at the elevated park you showed us yesterday. Guess what? Biff, it's funny that you talk about that. We, I actually shot 
an ulterior, ver an ulterior version of that shot you guys just saw at the elevated bridge with my lead actress. She's jogging at the beginning of the movie. So I have that shot. The problem was to get that framing perfect. I think we had to do it seven times. So by the end of it, she was just like, oh, it's like, I'm not running again. So yeah, that shot I recreated on the bridge. So, you know, great minds think alike, Biff. Omar, can you give advice on editing? Yes. I think for editing, you need to look at pacing. Obviously pacing is a big part of editing anything, but that's what I would get into, Omar. If you're starting to get into editing, look into, look into pacing and understanding why you're cutting something, where you're cutting something, right? Why are we changing camera angles at this moment? If we stay on this one camera angle, is it doing anything for the story? Is it pushing the story forward? Is it holding it back? You need to think about it in that regard. And once you start to understand filmmaking from that point of view of editing, you'll start to understand editing from a, a different perspective. It's not, a just, it's not about just going from scene to scene. It's also visually, why are we going from this scene to this scene, right? So that is definitely what it comes to in editing, right? You wanna think about where we're headed, how far ahead we need to go with this scene. Why are we staying on this single shot here? You know, if you've got two characters there, boom. Um, if you've got two characters on screen and you've got a, a three, you know, like a, a wide setup and you're, they're both at the table. Yeah, what you need to understand is the audience is watching. You're cutting to what the audience is going to eventually be watching, right? So if something feels uneasy to you, it's going to feel uneasy to a lot of people. So that's my other uh, type of advice there. Living Legend says great minds, great tips think alike. <laughs> Listen, uh, Living Legend, let's touch tips. Thank you. I appreciate the support. So yeah, Omar, here's another thing. I'm sure there's some YouTube channels that have little scenes you could download. Download little scenes and just figure out how it works for cutting, right? So movies, say there's two characters in a scene. There's somebody at a table here and a table here, and we're shooting this way on them. We're going to have three setups total. We're going to have the wide angle lens on the two characters, but we're also going to have a lens point of view pointing at one of the characters face on or to the, on, you know, like a 30 degrees off or whatever the hell you want to do, 45 degree angle on both of them cross section, right? So usually in filmmaking, you'll have three different takes of the complete scene. So usually in editing, you could throw those on top of each other and then that's how you cut towards the other ones, right? So go on to YouTube and search for YouTube. Uh, I would search for this, uh, YouTube practice scene. Somebody will have a scene you can download and you can watch their video and practice editing. Sexy Coco's here, says Gout. How you doing, buddy? Just so you guys know, uh, Sexy Coco is not only sexy, he's also a man, man with an ass. But on a more serious note, On a more serious note, Sexy Coco is uh, having a hard time right now with family things. Uh, shout out to Sexy Coco. I'm thinking about you, mostly sexually, but I hope you're okay, dude. Are red cameras overrated? Yes. I mean, at the end of the day, I'll, I'll, I, this is the advice I've learned. I'll just pass it on to you. Resolution in terms of a camera, right? You're looking at a camera and you're like, hmm, I could shoot 1080p, I could shoot 4K, I could shoot 6K. Resolution does not fucking matter. What actually matters is the dynamic range of the camera. So I'll explain it super quick for the people who don't give a shit. Dynamic range is how the camera looks into the low lights and the highlights. So low lights is how deep can the camera look into the shadows 
and highlights is how far into a into a, a blown out scene, say is this like light right here. If I had that camera on, or sorry, that light on right now, this would be blown out and you would not see those details. You see that circle and everything? That's because the dynamic range of an iPhone, I think it's around 10 stops. So it's able to see those lines now, but if I turn the camera light on there, you would not see that, that line right there and you would not see this circle right here. That's because the camera's dynamic range can't see into the highlight. So the thing that you want to look into if you're looking at a cinema camera is to make sure it has a lot of stops of dynamic range. The resolution has nothing, no bearing on why I would ever choose a camera. So basically, the camera I'm getting right now, the dynamic range of it is 13 stops of dynamic range. That means it can look into it at a very high, you know, high range, right? The new Blackmagic cameras are like, I think seven, sorry, 16 stops of dynamic range. So the more dynamic range, the more, you know, um, um, ability for you to alter that image after the fact, right? Omar, no problem, dude. Sheaves, what's up? Classic art to you. Thank you, Classic. Jostler, I'd love to. The best five dollar uh, photography I've ever taken. I'd love to. I'd love to show you guys fifteen inches of black magic. Yes, my. <laughs> I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put my camera fifteen inches into you. Paul the alien says, "Learning a lot. This is dope." Yeah, dude. Thanks. So every camera has a, um, a dynamic range. So I think iPhones are like maybe 12 stops, something like that. But also you got to think about this. This iPhone you're watching right now, it puts a fake filter over top of it. And it makes it look like iPhone footage. It's one of the downfalls of why people don't shoot a lot of like films on iPhones, right? The reason an iPhone 15 Pro Max is being touted as a filmmaker's camera is because they get, if you shoot in something called log, it basically allows you to color correct after the, the fact, right? It's not putting on a pre-designed filter onto the footage. So that is also why I have an iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's because I'll show you here. I, I don't know if it'll pick up in the camera, but if you look at this shot right here, if I actually put it on ProRes, you'll notice that it gets much more gray. See that? I don't know if you're seeing that. You are slightly. So the reason why that's gray right now versus the original, watch. See that's colorful, that's vibrant, then we go to that. That's, that's shooting it in log. That's essentially turning off the pre-designed look of the film itself. So when you shoot on an iPhone now, you can choose how you want your film to look after the fact. But that gets into, once two cents says changes the saturation. Uh, it changes a few things. On the iPhone, it's taking off sharpening. So it's not as sharp as the original iPhone footage would be when you're shooting in log. It also is going to take away the contrast. So you can add that back in and remember dynamic range, remember that. When you're shooting in log, you get more data in the footage. So after the, after the fact, that's how you're gonna be able to color correct it the way you see fit. So somebody in the chat said, that's interesting. Uh, somebody said machine learning and software engineering or software rendering. Exactly, Biff. When you're shooting on an iPhone, so if I just go like this and turn on my camera and go to video, that right there, what you're looking at is software rendered. Right now, if we hit the pro image, uh, sorry, the pro res there, you'll notice now I look gray. So that's the difference on iPhone. It gives you that huge spectrum of data when you're shooting in log to be able to color correct it and give it a style. So if you watch the movie Joker, all films are shot in log, L O G, right? When you, when you watch like, when you watch Joker, the reason why it looks green and yellow and stuff, that's color corrected. They, that didn't look that way when they shot it, right? Obviously. 
you know, I don't know if a lot of people realize that, but that's how that works. You do not shoot on set for the style you want after the fact, so. Ham sandwich, listen, dude, you've, you, I'll shoot your ham sandwich. Dude, I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. But ham, I will shoot your sandwich if you want me to. <laughs> Portable ham sandwich. I don't know what that means. Do you have a reference monitor? Yes, Biff, I have a... Biff, I have a ref reference monitor. So a reference monitor basically is for color correction. My reference monitor um, is like mid-tier. You can get a reference monitor that will cost like $6,000 or $2,000. Mine's $2,000. Um, and that lets me color correct on it and the uh, the brightness and everything, it's it's calibrated. So there's a standard out there, Rec. 709, that's a standard look that most TVs will have. So it's uh, color correct, it's a Rec. 709. Now I'm sure a lot of you right now are like, what the fuck is Rec. 709? Uh, we don't need to get into that, but uh, you've probably never thought about this, but when you go to McDonald's and you look at the logo and you see the arches, and you see the red, that is, a, that, that, that ties into a color code that's on the internet. So if you look at a certain color, it'll have a number attached to it, right? So say that red's like 5521, whatever the, color, the, the number is, right? The one thing what you guys don't realize is that 5521 red has to be the exact same color across the whole fucking earth. So if they're in Malaysia or they're in fucking Africa, that red that they use on the sign needs to be the exact same color because if you notice it's off slightly, you're gonna notice it's off slightly. So it needs to be that exact yellow and that, that exact red. So when it comes to filmmaking, you need a monitor that's gonna show the proper color that matches that, that code, right? So at the end of the day, if you're working in an ad, you know, like a, a downtown Toronto, I got a bunch of friends that worked in uh, like ads. Basically, yeah, if you shoot a commercial, that those colors better be exactly because uh, you know what? They will look into it. I remember Blockbuster Video, they'll look into it. They'll actually put the video into editing software and color correct it, um, sorry, after the color correction. And they'll, they'll look up certain colors and they'll, they'll get the little, um, I forget what it's called, the little reticle that will choose the colors and they'll make sure it's the proper colors. And if it's the wrong colors, you will literally get fired. I've, uh, I've definitely experienced people having issues with that in the coloring world. Jeeves, you're deaf? Good. Gotta get my fucking pizza out of the oven. Where's my knife? Okay, this is gonna be a disaster. Okay. Get my pizza, guys, one second. I don't know what I did with the, um... oh, here it is. So here's my, uh... Pizza cutter. <laughs> you have any idea what movie that's from? Sorry, that was my oven. Siri, shut the hell up. By the way, thanks for the support today, guys. Appreciate this. If I, uh, I miss any super chats, let me know. Drummer Punk says it's actually pretty similar to the audio world and post-processing and editing and stuff. Pretty cool. Exactly, dude. Uh, I got this on Amazon. 
I searched horror movie pizza cutter and this showed up. My, uh, my Amofo says low support. Listen, this is a low support stream today. My cat needs goddamn legs. My shrimp, my shrimp's overcooked. This is an absolute shit show. All I wanted to do was stream. Hang on. I gotta get a, I gotta get a fucking plate out. Oh no, oh no. Oh, my parchment paper just fell into a vat of water. Got ones. Oh, it's leaking everywhere. Ones, this is a shit show. God damn it. God damn it. Now I gotta order parchment paper. And I burned my pizza. Look. You see what happened, guys? Parchment paper fell into a giant vat of old water in the sink. That's ruined. My fucking pizza's fucking ruined. Unbelievable. <laughs> fucking shit. Yeah, it's fucked up. God damn it. This is a this is a low support parchment paper stream now. God damn it. Look at my pizza. Look at it. Look at it. It's hard as a rock now. All, all because of ones. One's two cents in the fucking chat. I just wanted to have a good lunch. Mr. Awesome, the stream is fucked. This is disgusting. This pizza is disgusting now. One's two cents has ruined another stream. Let me cut this. Unbelievable. It's like I said, every time Ones gets involved with anything, uh, he ruins it. You know? It's disgusting. I just... I just wanted to have a good... I just wanted to have a good pizza, man. Zach says it still looks good. Yeah, okay, Zach. Look at that's that's fucking crusty as hell. What the hell is the sound? Jay's pissing in the sink. Man's afraid of some color. <laughs> Doug just gifted a membership. Thank you, dude. Doug, thank you, dude. I appreciate you. I appreciate that, man. What the hell? Just gifted another one. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing, you maniac? Hang on. I'm trying to get this fucking setup correct here. There. Put you down here for a second. <clears throat> Okay. Oh my god. Fucking. I get so fucking flustered nowadays. Okay. There we go. There we go. Doug, thank you, man. A little lower. A little lower, says Drummer Punk. 
You guys checking my legs out? I'm not able to gift. Is that a mobile thing, says Mr. Awesome. Mr. Awesome, thank you, dude. Yeah, I don't think you can gift on mobile. You have to be doing it from PC. So, Doug, thank you for the two memberships there. I appreciate that, dude. I'm Mr. Awesome yet. I, I don't think you guys can gift yet from here for some reason. YouTube's just like, no, we're not letting that happen. No. You, you can, uh, all you can do from here, I think, is send stickers and Super Chat. Marlo, thank you, dude, says for the catnip fund. Dude, I appreciate that big time, dude. Dude? How many times can I call you dude? My cat has... Can I just tell the truth for a second here about something? My cat now has... She has about... She has about like 45... You can... Wait, one says you can gift now. What do you mean? You can't gift yet. Can you once? Alice says I have an option to gift on mobile. Oh, you know what? The app did update. You might want to update the app. You know, I don't know. Oh, uh, I see. Zach Duncan, thank you, dude. Thanks for the update there. Uh, Marlo Morris, thank you again for the catnip. I'm going to just be honest now. I think my cat has like 15 pounds of catnip. So let's take a debate here. Is that burnt? Is that burnt? What do you guys think? Oh. Oh, it's an Android thing. Okay. Nobody agrees with me that this is burnt. Marlo, thank you again, dude. Oh. Well done. All right, so it looks like some people agree with me that that, that right there, what I was eating was burnt pizza. So it's got bacon, potato, uh, green onion, and some sort of like white sauce. It's really good. Mm. It's my lunch. Yes, Jostler, white sauce. White mystery sauce, guys. So how many... I've been working since 6 a.m. What's happening? John Rome, what's going on, dude? 6 a.m. Goddamn maniac. Yes, Viperize. It's some savory white sauce. Hmm. Gabriel, it's got bacon, dude. Zach says, I ate a smash burger. Now I'm full as fuck. No, he says, hell. I put the fuck in there. Oh. Sorry, I'm not talking as much, but Viper Eyes said, or who said that? Glamorous Frog says, I saw Viper Eyes eating a veggie my pizza once. Doug, thank you, dude. What does he say? If people are having difficulty getting memberships on mobile, like the stream, then go to your like videos, then you should be able to. Really? Wait, what? That's how that works? If people are having difficulties getting memberships on mobile, like the stream, then go to your liked videos, 
then you should be able to. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's such a stupid workaround, but yeah, I get it, dude. Doug, thank you, man. So if you like the video, then go back to your channel and go to like videos. This video will show up differently in a different window. I don't know how that works, but that's how you can gift on mobile. Mm. Oh, Viper is just not me, Dark Viper. <laughs> Mm. All right, what did you guys think of the new Deadpool trailer? John says he loved it. Jocelyn says he's not interested. Casey says looks good. Jimmy put a bunch of emojis... Marlo says hasn't watched it yet. Holy shit. Lazy. Lazy Jawa making me choke on my pizza. Says, let's raise the support up in here. Dude, come on. What the hell, dude? Absolutely ridiculous, man. Thank you. That is... You guys are just... I, I mean, I don't even know what to say about it. I don't even know what to say anymore. I thought this was a low support gout Monday. Lazy Jawa. I was going to say, I'll make it so you're not lazy. Thank you, dude. Holy crap. I'm like, dude, come on. What the hell? Hey, June, what's up? You're welcome, Jay. Much love. Seriously, dude. Uh, thank you for the last couple of days. I've seen you in the chat. I've seen you all over the place. I look like a drug dealer, says Ian. Thank you. I've seen you all over the place commenting and watching my streams and also doing these support things. Thank you so much, man. It really helps me out. For real. It really helps me out. It helps the channel out, you know, like without people like you, we wouldn't, I would be working in a fucking van down by the river. Goldeneye. Goldeneye, I love playing him. Ha! Lazy's like, I'd still support you in the river down by the river. I mean, the, the van down by the river. Thanks, man. Tower Dragon just gifted a membership. Thank you, dude. Tower Dragon's another person who's just been absolutely nonstop support. Thank you. You and Julie B tried to kill me in a goddamn shark costume. I love you, dude. I love you. You guys are amazing. I have a Tim Hortons coffee... Have a Tim Hortons coffee on me, my friend, when you go out later today. Sean, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. It's your 10th Super Chat live on a live stream. Crazy, dude. Thank you. I really appreciate that, man. Um, I don't drink Tim Hortons, though, just so you know. Han Solo, what's going on? Holy shit, man. What is going on? Support Jay's family. Support medium support stream. <laughs> Viperize, dude. Thank you. Yeah, you got the pink Triforce too. Dude, Viperize. Honestly, thank you for the support, man. You you guys are so ridiculous. Grizzly Bear just gifted a membership. Thank you. Honestly. Drummer Punk says for Zelda's catnip addiction. She, you know what? She does have a catnip addiction. White Lando sent over catnip. Uh, Drummer Punk. 
And she go she loses her mind when I shake the bag. But Viperize, shout out to you again, man. You've been here for the last two months supporting. Thank you so much, dude. Like I said, everything that you guys are doing for me helps so much. Uh, you guys are essentially becoming producers of the films I'm working on. Pulse is the membership train has left. Joe Kraken. No. So if you guys know, this Saturday on the stream, I have a psychic medium coming. Sean's been a member for a month. He says, then what do you do? What do you drink for coffee? I don't drink coffee. So I don't know if you guys know, but I have like anxiety disorder. And when I drink anything that's caffeinated, I jump off the walls and my heart like explodes. I can't drink Coca-Cola. I can't do caffeine. So Grizzly, thank you. And Sean, thanks for being a member for a month. Biff says the, the credits on the film will be longer than the film itself. I don't care, man. Somebody's got a fireplace going. I could smell them. Rod Dakota says more, more <laughs> for more cat drugs. Thank you so much. Raw Dakota. Shout out to Raw Dakota. Always here. Always, you know, supporting Elvis, the lunatic. Elvis is here. Elvis, as you guys know, one time Elvis paid $500 on an RTU streams for me to shave and pour a slushie down my pants. What pizza am I eating? Angie, it's uh, potato bacon. That was Elvis. Yes. Elvis in the chat is the guy who donated $500 so I sh could shave my beard and pour a slushie down my pants. He's here right now. The legend, Elvis. Doug says, Jay, I found a costume for you to wear on stream. What size are you? What? Um, Josh was like, I was there. Elvis says it's true. Elvis, a huge shout out to you again as I spit food on myself. Um, I, I When I get those suits, I get them in XL. Because when I get large, they just barely fit. How much fucking food's going to fly to mouth, my mouth? So, I, um, I go with the XL. Yeah, that stream was nuts. Nisha's that stream was crazy. I agree, man. Drummer's like, I think that was one of your first streams on Rich's channel, wasn't it? I don't think it was like the first one. Elvis, no problem, dude. Thank you for the support. Uh, Rich actually sent me that money. Oh, yeah. Just so you guys know, tonight at 8 p.m. EST, go on my Twitter. I'm going to be on Sledgehammer Horror. We're having a panel discussion about horror movies. So tune in for that. That's at 8 p.m. tonight. Yeah, Rich did give me the money. Now, some people are always like, did Rich give you all the money that was donated to you while I was streaming? No. Um... In the beginning, Rich would just give me like a hundred or two hundred dollars, regardless of what was coming through on the super chats. He did that for a while. I mean, he gave me extra money too, but yeah, there was times that I I would stream and get like two hundred bucks, uh, even if like uh, eight hundred came in or whatever, which is fine with me, whatever. Um, but then afterwards, when I started streaming on the channel and it started to catch on, and people were like, "Oh, we like what you do on the channel." I was like, dude, I'm going to need a little bit more of the money that people are like literally trying to give directly to me. So he gave me like 50% of whatever came in. So, yeah. So 
so he gave he gave me more money, but um, I should also point out, like, so he ate up the cost, right? So how it works is if, if somebody donates ten dollars, YouTube takes thirty percent of it immediately. So one dollar is seventy cents, right? Um, so at the end of the day, he would get twenty percent of whatever I streamed. So that was reasonable, right? He'd give me fifty. He would take 50, but he automatically would lose 30 off his side. So I've never said that I was like, oh, I want more of that money or greedy about it. I think what he did that was pretty fair there, right? But now on my own channel, it feels nice to just deal directly with you guys, you know? Yeah, Zach, I told you guys I overdid the pizza. Nobody believes me. Watch, listen. Oh. Yeah, Biff. Hansel says, I think things would have been different if he had got you, got in his head that you were more than an editor. You were also a whole co-host. Yeah, I mean, all we had to do was like do main channel videos once in a while and just stream stream together. And I think the money amount would have been the same as it always was, right? But now, uh, <laughs> things are much different. Hang on, I think my my new suits are here. Let me go check. Nope. I think that was, Paul says, I think that what he was worried about, paying you more for co-host. Well, I'm going to just say this. He had, so he would have 700 people watching him and, and say he pulled in, I don't know, whatever amount, $100, right? I would have like a third of that. So I'd have 33 people watching me and I would pull in more money than he had with people at a hundred viewers. I think it's just because I engage with you guys more and I'm more personable and I actually care about you guys rather than just like, you know, just streaming and talking to him and I to back and forth. I talk to the audience, right? Yeah. So... So yeah, I interact with you guys. I talk directly to you guys. I actually thank you guys. I care about you guys. It's not like I'm like doing this just to make money. I think if I was just doing this to make money, you guys would probably see through that. So I've been doing it now since February 17th. And, you know, like on the Discord, I talk to as many people as possible. There's a thousand people there that message me. I'm more charismatic. Viperize, I mean, I would have been more charismatic on his show, but he, what's weird is he, like, he just got me rid of me on the main channel, but also he got rid of me as like the co-host on the streams, which was because he wanted to make more money, which is fine. Our stream labs delayed. Did you stream lab? No, stream labs don't show up on vertical. Hang on. Casey, dude, thank you, man. 
What did you say? I can't see it here. Hang on. Actually, I can. Wait. Casey, I'm looking into it. Hang on. I apologize. I didn't catch it, dude. I'm logging in. Let's see what Casey said. I'm logging in. It takes a while. You know, I, I you can't you can't use stream. It's cool. I didn't I didn't know either. It's okay. So, as we do more vertical uh, setups like this, I can actually do vertical from the computer. I'm going to set that up next next week. He says, "Give half to Rich. He's going to need it." <laughs> he donated five dollars and said, "Give give half to Rich. He's going to need it." I think Rich will be fine. I think Rich will be fine. He probably gets enough donations to pay his bills. Edgy, at least JKB isn't like other three, like DSP who asks for donations and Streamlabs and PayPal whenever you get the money immediately. Art Grant says, do you really make wigs? No, I don't make wigs. There's a joke going around that I wear a wig, that my hair's not real. So I just start telling people I wear w wigs. <laughs> I don't actually wear make wigs. I started telling people that. I look for a bumblebee costume to donate, but they don't. They only make them from women. Oh Jesus Christ, Casey, don't <laughs> don't get a bumblebee. Uh, that would be silly. I don't know that that cat needs new legs. By the way, yeah, yeah, my cat needs new legs. Everything about this stream is always a good joke. You know, it's like I call this stream the low support Monday stream. That's based on Phil. Uh, the gout thing is based on the joke I came up with about Rich having gout and me having the stream. Drama says, listen, wiggle your wig for us. Okay, ready? There you go. You see it? Jay, can you do cosplay as the girl from the No Rain video? Yeah, I got to gain another 50 pounds to do that. Speaking of rich and gout, what the fuck happened to his leg? Um, what happened one day is he, he was sitting down and stood up. And he like almost broke his leg by standing up or what? Oh no, he tripped down the stairs. Sorry, I think. Dude, I'd love to get a Kirby costume. The problem again about some of these costumes is that, you know, I don't take you guys giving me donations for granted and I'm not going to sit here and ever waste the money except for this. I did buy that. That was $11. Wait, I did buy that. And it, it should be here soon while I'm streaming. It should show up. But that's for comedic purposes. Um, but yeah, I don't waste my money. So let, look, let's look this up. Kirby, Kirby adult costume, right? So here's the prices in Canada. Which I'm not going to waste the money on that. You know, like these suits that I buy are like $10, $15, to be honest. A Kirby blow up suit is $110. An inflatable Kirby suit. Look. And then the Kirby onesie is not terrible. It's $61. But I feel like it's just. Yeah, I don't know. Too much money to waste, you know? It's too much right now. I don't want to spend like $200 on a fucking suit, you know? Um, the ones I just ordered were like $22 and $17, so they should show up here. Carbonite Dreams, what's up? Didn't Rich fire you when he said, 
when you started your own stream? No. The only reason I started to stream is because Rich, by the way, let's also say this, Rich didn't fire me. I didn't get fired. I got laid off because there's, look at his channel's views. There's no money coming in because he doesn't make content. So that's what happened. I didn't get fired. So after I got laid off because his channel's going down, I started streaming on February 17th here because he didn't want me streaming on his channel anymore. I do have a funny story to tell that nobody knows about this yet. But what's really funny is the day I went to go stream on February 17th, I accidentally went live on RTU streams for like a split second, but it didn't send out notifications. I didn't realize that my code was still attached to his account. Yeah, huh? Now, let me also tell you this. After he let me go, because the channel has no views on it. Also, he didn't want to make content. Remember that. Um, I still had access to Review Tech USA and Review Tech streams for like two weeks. I should I should have just streamed from there. That would have been hilarious. Hey guys, it's me. I got I fired. I, I'm streaming. You can hear my roommate. Not my roommate. My uh, my neighbor's walking by. Mario Heats is a very low support vertical stream so far. I agree, man. I, I was hoping to make about $4,000 on this one stream so I could buy her one left leg. She could barely walk. She's like a little bean. I told you, I, her legs are gone. So when I hold her, she's like a little bean. So I have to, I have to hold her like a shrimp, like this. So say that's, say this is her ass, right? And her head's up here. I hold her sideways and I squeeze her like this and the poo just falls out. So. Thanks for the, the support. She needs a wheelchair for cats. All right. Hot Solo says, I don't understand why there's two different channels. Like why a main channel and then a streaming channel? You would think it'd be bigger audience on the main channel. I don't know. The reason for that was actually my doing. I'll tell you the answer to that. And it, the problem's actually happening on my channel. And I know it's happening, but I, I don't give two shits about it. So my audience right now is about 6,000 people, right? Out of the 6,000 people, there's only 1,000 people that care about my VOD content, like my actual produced reviews and stuff, right? The rest like live streams. When you have a channel that does both sides of the coin, so like, say, gaming news, reviews, tech videos versus a live stream audience, those two audiences don't mix together. And it doesn't help your channel when, you know, this stream I'm doing right now will probably get 5,000 views, right? Um, the people that watch my VOD stuff don't give two shits about this video. So YouTube sees those algorithm uh, patterns, right? And they go like, this channel's all over the place and they don't bump it up. So that's how that works. So um, Rich's main channel at the time, people that watched that main channel didn't want to watch his streams. He had a million subs. If he would stream on main channel, he'd be lucky if he got, I don't know, a thousand viewers. So I told him to split it off, which was the smartest thing he could have ever done, I think. So yeah. There's only a certain amount of you that watch both of my videos. If you go to my videos, guys, right now, um, I have videos you probably don't even know about. So that's how that works. That's why there's two channels. Um, Soph, thank you, says I watch both. Take, T 
Take niche. Take she. Thank you. Blab says, I, um, hey, Jay, I want to apologize for how I was a few days ago. I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Did you do something? <laughs> yeah, Drummer Punk says that number could be screwed up right now because you're bringing your channel back. So let me also explain this. I have 61,000 subscribers. Blab, what did you say to me? I don't even know. I have 61,000 subscribers, and most of them are like old-time subscribers from 5, 10 years ago. So a lot of them don't like my streaming. So every time I do one of these streams, I gain like 30, 40 subs, but then I lose them right away by people who don't want to watch the live stream stuff. So it's, it's always going to be a mess, you know? It's always going to be a mess. Yeah, that's the challenge, right? So when I do the vertical, these vertical streams, if I do a five hour vertical stream, I sometimes get a hundred subscribers. But by the next day, I lose a hundred subscribers. That's why you'll notice I'm at 61,000 subs all the time. And I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy with everything that's going on here. I like the fact that we have a small, close-knit community about, I'd say, 500 people, give or take. Because right now it's a Monday at fucking like 3 in the afternoon. Not everyone could watch that stream, right? But Friday streams on my channel, they are fucking insane in terms of everything. Viewership, 250, 300, 400 people there. Um, it's ridiculous when it comes to the super chats, the tips, all that crap. Every Friday is like mind blowing. Dennis, I know. Adam W, send me photos of your shrimp, please. Han Solo. Yeah, I don't know what happened. McCock says the uh, community is the best part. I agree. Living Legend says I watch your news videos too. Thank you. D Jr. Thank you, dude. Cypher says what am I eating? GTS has probably made thousands for Jay. Smart move. I, I'll be honest with you. I've honestly, and I'm being dead serious to you guys with the TTS thing, I have not looked at how much it's made me. I'm scared to look what it what's sitting over there. Um, on February 17th alone, was like a thousand dollars just on that one day, which was my birthday, which makes sense. That's why it would be so high. So yeah, um, on February 17th, it was, I made enough money to pay rent for like two months on my birthday there. So thank you guys. Is that pizza flavored pizza? Yeah. How did you know? Biff, I agree. Listen, McCock says Alfredo sauce is underrated pizza sauce. That's what's on here, dude. Alfredo, green onion, bacon, potato. John, John Rome says you farted. No, I didn't. How dare you? How dare you come here and instigate that? 
I did not fart. It's the chair. This chair makes fart noises. Hang on. See? <clears throat> Blab. Blab, welcome back. Thank you, Blab. I appreciate it. Honestly, Blab, I, what did you say? I'm just curious on what you said. I have no idea what Blab said. Not that... Uh, I honestly don't care. Like... Carl. Carl says, I'm thinking about making a video and sending it to you. What kind of video? Skies, what's up? Listen, Skies, I know you're new here. Subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to gain enough money so my cat can get new legs. So I appreciate you. I'm gonna, I, I'm looking at, um, I'm looking at actually getting her a leg made out of shrimp. I'm from, is anyone from Scotland in here? We've got somebody from Scotland. Oh God. Adam says she'll grow them back. Nope, I eat, I eat those legs. Lazy Jawa says, support Canadian cats with Canadian legs. Her legs are actually made out of old beaver tails, which is it's getting weird now. Evan, what's up, dude? Says, money for Zelda shrimp legs, support Canadian cats. <laughs> Evan, shout out to Evan, who's a goddamn maniac. Every time I stream, if he's able to, he shows up here and he goes, support Canadian dads, su support Canadian cats. Evan, thank you. You've been supporting my cat for two months now. I'm going to name one of her new legs after you. Congratulations. I don't know where she is right now. She's probably taking a nap. I rolled her into a corner. So, Could you actually imagine owning a cat with no legs? You'd have to hold it like a fat bean. It would just be weird. Now, now that I think of it, I'm like, I kind of want a cat with no legs. I would just tuck it under my arm. <laughs> Daisy says, is the cat okay? Yeah, she's got no legs, but she's like a little bean, just her little head, uh, like a fat little bean. So she meows when she has to poop. I hold her, I kind of hold her like this up in the air and I squeeze, the poop comes out. Also, I, I, I literally lick her to clean her. You know how cats normally clean themselves? I have to do that. So I've had bad, you know, hairballs over the last month. So Jason knowing yes. Can you show us the cat with no legs? She's probably here. I don't know. She, the thing is she, she technically can roll around like a bean. Like think of the, think of the cat like a bean like this, right? She rolls her body. So she could have rolled anywhere. <laughs> Where's my cat? Roll your body over here. Let's get her treats. Let's get her. Now, I just do, I want to point out before you guys see my cat, Bean, uh, I want you guys to know that her legs that you're about to see, they're CGCs. So that means it's computer graphics mixed with a little bit of spam. You guys remember what spam is, right? Spam is that food that you fry up with eggs in the morning. So here we go. She, it takes her a while to roll over here, so it might take a while. Zelda. Keep in mind, the legs you're about to see are not real. Baby, roll your body over here. So, yeah, here, these legs are not real. Hi. Hi. 
I mean, I I can't believe what you could do with CGI. You see that? She's act. She actually has no legs. So that's that's. It's a very. It's crazy. There you go. There's my uh, catless fake leg. Those aren't real legs. So. Hi. What's it? What's her name? Zelda. So yeah, she's got C CGI legs, CGC legs, I should say. They look real though. They're not real. Look. These legs are fake. That's uh, computer graphics. That's made out of old spam, like out of the can. So she uh, she lost her legs during a, a gout uh, outbreak in 1982, but she, she <laughs> what? What's wrong? She also um. She also is missing a tooth, for real though. Look. Are you missing a toothy? She's missing a toothy. She also wants to go, okay, I love you. I'm glad you had your treats. You're a very sweet girl. Yeah, for, for a cat who's from 1982, she's doing pretty good. See that missing tooth? Yeah, you got a missing tooth. Okay, go away. She seems schizophrenic. Yeah, she's also insane, Bella, in the chat. She's she's eight six baby hearts already. She actually got out of the apartment. She ripped right into a baby in a carriage outside, ripped the heart clean out. It was still beating. So yeah. She's uh you know. <coughs> She's bipolar. She's got no legs and she's bipolar. Oh yeah, she's 56. That's a 56 year old bipolar cat. She also killed six children. So again, if you guys could support her needs, she likes to eat children's hearts. She's ripped through six children the last month. We've had to hide the, the murder that she's done. We've had to hide it, so. Um, She's got a taste for children blood. What can I say? Real Sports says CG's gotten so well. Yeah, it's crazy. Also, this is like in real time. So it's able to map. It's it's tracking her. So there's little tracking dots where her little stubs are. And it, it's actually tracking every little movement. And it's replacing it in real time. That's what you guys are seeing. So thank you for supporting uh, Canadian Cats. Johnny says, do you need help? Absolutely. Mental help, physical help, all sorts of help. Thank you. Canadian cats are mooses in disguise. Don't, don't give the fucking secret away. You know what game I haven't played for a long time? Eternal Darkness. Remember they tried to make a sequel to that, but then it turned out the guy that was like working on it was into children and it got weird and then they fired him. And then the studio shut down. It would have been crazy to get a sequel to Eternal Darkness. I still remember the day playing Eternal Darkness on my N64 and going, why the fuck is the volume going up? Do you guys remember that game? How many people have played that? What's the plan for the weekend? So, um, I'm streaming every day this week until Monday, okay? So... The big announcements are we're having a WWE day where we play that game on stream. I don't know. I'll tell you at the end of the day the, the schedule, right? But here's the big news. On Saturday, this coming Saturday at 5 p.m., we're doing the ghost hunt here. 
So do not miss that. I have a psychic medium coming in. So I'm paying her. I have to pay her $200. So she, well, I have a psychic medium coming into my haunted church to talk about ghosts. And she's going to talk about the four ghosts she believes are living in this church. And we're going to do a ghost hunt. It's going to be fun. There's going to be multiple cameras. I hope you guys really tune into that one. It's going to be called the ghost hunt. I'm not going to really name it elaborately. It's just going to be the ghost hunt with psychic medium. So that is Saturday. And then Sunday, I pick up my best friend. And he's going to be streaming with me on Sunday. So... I hope you guys will be there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. You're, you'll be able to ask her questions. I don't know what she's going to answer. She might. I don't know her abilities. She showed up in the church and she was just like, yeah, there's some heavy shit here. So I was like, what is it? She's like, oh, well, first and foremost, your roommate's going to kill you one day with a knife. And I was like, okay, anything else? She's like, yeah, there's, an, there's an old, a young boy who lives in the, the loft. She said there's a seven to 10 foot priest now, do you, how many people here remember the stream I did where the balloon popped behind me? I'm not kidding. That's what she actually said to me. She pointed to her colleague while they were standing here and she goes, the roommate? And the colleague goes, yeah, the roommate. She goes, the roommate, like as in, and I was like, the Wastelander, hey Jay, did you know that had a private war train and it was an interesting little tidbit. Also, you should visit the park, beautiful on the lake. The private war train? I think I know what you're talking about, Wastelander. I think I do. Um, the only thing I care about when it comes to Hitler, obviously I, I am not a fan of Hitler, just to make that clear. What I'm a fan about though is all of those like theories that he had UFO technology and I've seen some interesting documentaries about it. And it wasn't that Hitler had it. It was just like the Germans had technology that was really advanced. So they think that they had UFO technology. That's the only thing I would ever look into. But I do know what you're talking about. He had like that train that was like heavily armored or some bullshit. Um, so... the spear of destiny. The only thing Hitler had was mental issues. Um, yeah, the conspiracy theory of a hollow earth. <clears throat> that sentence could have gone so badly. <laughs> it could have... <laughs> How old is the church? So Evan, to answer your question, this church is, I believe, built in 1950-something? Uh, All right, enough about Hitler in the chat. Uh, Josser says, I also have one testicle. I'd like to see it. Have you seen Iron Sky? Alice, I have not. I don't know what that is. What is that, a documentary? So yeah, this Saturday, and then this Sunday, I have my best friend showing up. He's going to be on stream, and then I'm taking Monday and Tuesday off. I'll mail you a pic, Jay. Thank you. The common theory is that Germans invented transistors in the early 30s, and all records were destroyed. Oh, you're talking about the theory. Yeah, like so you're talking about the theory that the Germans had UFO technology and they re, uh, what's it called? Reverse engineered that technology. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy like those stupid shows that have these wild ideas like the Bell UFO that was in Germany and all of those ideas about just essentially German scientists re-engineering technology from another planet. It's, it's, it's crazy to think about that. Where's my water? Uh, 
By the way, thank you for the support, guys. Jay, Jay invented maple syrup in 1900s, in the 1600s. Is water wet? Yes, yes. Anyways, peace out. I'll watch your future lives, Jay. Um, just want to, hoping to bury the hatchet with everything I started. I had a meltdown. Blab, again, I don't even know what you said, Blab. So Blab, thank you for being a member. I appreciate it. And I, again, I don't know what you said, so. Surge X, listen, Surge X, get off at work. You get it? Juicy Booch with the Ninja Stealth. <laughs> what? Hulk Hogan's Giant State? You sound like Tom Green, says Robert. Uh, Tom Green is definitely somebody I look up to back in the day. We we He was in Toronto. I was in... Um, Sorry, I was in Toronto, and he was... Clint, have a good night. You too, man. Living legend. So, anyways, yeah. Tom Green got it. Tom Green was doing things on television before YouTube even existed when it came to, like, just jokes and stuff. But what happened to him? He's a comedian now. Um, he's just living his life now, I think. Got to catch him slipping in the clip. Oh, yeah. Tom G's the man, says, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Daddy, would you like some sausage? I love that. He has a podcast and a farm. Yes. He bought a farm back home. He moved out of LA and he's back in the Ottawa area. He decided to just buy a farm and live out there. He seems pretty happy. I've talked to him a few times over the years. Um, I tried to get him on my show at one point. He almost came on to three kilobytes back in the day. Um, to be honest, I probably could get him on now. He's not hes not doing a lot of stuff. He's just up north. I should try to get him on the show, to be honest. But yeah, he was one of the originals that we looked up to. Andrew says, uh, support my gout. Listen, support my gout. By the way, thanks for all the support today, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. If I miss a super chat or anything, let me know. I'll go back in time. We'll read it. Then I'll go back in time again to where I was. It, yeah, it, it, it would be amazing to get Tom Green on the show. Living Legend says Roswell famous crash on July 7th, 1947. I don't, I don't believe in the Roswell crash stuff. Like the idea, yeah, it crashed and the, like there's photos of the stuff they held up. That it's obviously so fake. Are you going to do a game night with a hundred year door when it comes out? Um... I don't know. Skip Skipperson, shout out to you, dude. Why files on here on YouTube? I'm going to rest up. My energy has been low since the breakdown, not to mention panics. See you all. Blab, have a good night. Take care, dude. Paul the Alien was at the Roswell crash. You should get on the stream another Canadian man. I don't know who that is. Doka Ryan? What was his name? Dokin Ryan. Doka Ryan. Who's that? I want to check out the sex files, says Omni. Omni, listen. Calm your tits.
Oh, I think my uh, girlfriend's on the way. She is on the way. So we got about 15 more minutes, guys. Actually, let's make it uh, 10 minutes here just so I can clean up a bit. So thank you for everyone that tuned in today. I appreciate this like small little hangout. Uh, girlfriend reveals not happening today, that's for sure. It's going to happen soon, trust me. And then also, um, I'll stream tomorrow night. I'll be back at around 7.30 for another hangout stream. Um, and then we're back to our usual on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Stream the cleanup. That would be boring. What are the chances of Jay getting lucky today? I don't know. Let's ask Siri. Hey, Siri, what's the chance of me getting lucky today? She's not going to answer it. Uh, I would say it's probably... Uh, let me... I'll type the percentage in. Ready? Hang on. Ah! She just texts me and says, you guys almost read it. You guys probably did get that on screen. She says, I can't wait to jump your bones, baby. <laughs> There's your fucking answer. There's your fucking answer, guys. Oh God, she's gonna laugh at that one. I'm gonna send her that message right now. Somebody from the chat was like, what are the chances you're gonna get lucky? And I was showing 100% on screen and then you texted and you said, can't wait to jump your bones. So. There you go. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here now. Thank you to everybody. Surge, Nish, Ones, Drummer. She she just sent me a laughing emoji. Uh, Justin, Maddo, thank you. Uh, I. She goes, that timing though, laugh out loud. Uh, get that shrimp ready, says Brett. No soup for you. Sea monkey. Am I going to keep the shrimp on? <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, well, that's one way to end the stream. Real spoilers, Sean, uh, Lazy Jawa, I'm trying to read everyone here. Alice, thank you. Paul the Alien, award winner. Listen, get it wet. Oh, brother. Brooke, Justin, Gino, Serge X. By the way, throw on Slow Sonic, by the way. Uh, huge shout out to Living Legend. Living Legend? You are officially the last person to send a super chat today. I'm going to puke in my own mouth. I just ate a pizza. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow around 7.30 at night for a hangout stream. Um, trust me, you don't want to miss it. You definitely don't want to miss it. It's going to get stupid. Amber Heard's turds was banned? Oh, no. Oh, I see why. I see why. Good job. Thank you for that. Uh, so, Living Legend, congratulations. You are the last. Jostler, thank you. Oh, shit. Get boned. Enjoy your night, everyone, says Drummer Punk. Drummer Punk is the winner. Congratulations, Drummer Punk. Love the way you move. Love the way you speak. I'm out of here, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, one's two cents is losing his job slowly here. See you guys tomorrow. I appreciate the support. You guys are legends. Uh, shout out to Drummer Punk. You are the winner. I love you. I'm going to sleep with you. And now Zaylin won. We're done. Zaylin wins. Thank you, guys. Zaylin, I love you. We're out of here.